Hey, what's happening guys? I'm sure some of you want to take out some of those gains, those sweet, sweet gains. A lot of you have asked uh, how to cash out on some of the cryptos that you might have bought. I made the assumption that it's just the same process, but in reverse. But yeah, I still keep on getting this question, so my assumptions were wrong. So I'm just going to go through and cash out a little bit here and show you guys that process. So I'm gonna go into my trust wallet and going to grab i'm going to take my fox out it has done nothing i lost some i only put in like a few bucks but so what you need to do is convert this into the bnb and you'll have to go into pancake swap right now if i do that it's not going to show up on um on here if i do a search for it Yeah, it's not coming up. I'm going to have to go uh, to the website. So here it is, Fox Finance. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. You can either grab the contract um, link. Which if you go into BSC scan here, it's right at the top there. You can copy that and then uh, paste it into uh, where you would have, you know, did the search for the coin. Or what I like to do, because it's coming directly from the website. I'm just going to copy the address here. And I'll be going back into Trust Wallet, into the Pancake Swap. Um, let's get out of this. And then just paste uh, the URL for the website up in the top here. And then hit search. And then it'll take you to the website itself and uh, get on Pancake and it should fill that in. So you just want to make sure it's at the top there. I'll take out, I think that's half. All right. And then you want it to go into your BNB. Now I'm going to set my slippage to, I'm going to try 0.5%. Uh, it's probably not going to work. My slippage is at 0.5, and down there the price impact 0.1, so that's okay with me. And there we go. It's just approving. Alright, let me swap. We confirm it. Numbers look good. Uh, so yeah, so this, I've run into this a few times today because I took out a bit of safe moon. I don't, I really don't know what it is. I think it's the slippage. So I'm going to go to 1%. Nope. So again, just keep trying the slippage. 11 is kind of the magic number for most of these. It's still not doing it. Let's try 21%. And that should have done it. I have had a contract that was cancelled today when I tried to sell some safe moon. It was kind of annoying, so also just make sure that you know you're you're at the top left there that you're running on smart chain. You should see the little yellow diamond there. Anyways, let's go back to trust wallet and so let's check the refresh and check the amount that we have. Yeah, so I took out half there because I, I had like $48 or 45 and so now there's 23 in there. And I should see that showing up in my smart chain. So it'll, it'll be back in the smart chain. So now what you want to do is you want to transfer some of the smart chain into BNB and this is what you're going to send off to Binance. All right, so here I'm just going to do, let's see, 25%. Sure. You could put in like a custom number in there, but so we'll send. All right, so there we can see that that was taken out. If we refresh, it'll probably just take a while here. And there we go. So now it's in the BNB. Now from here, I want to send this to Binance and it's going to send. So here I'll have to paste my wallet address from Binance. Okay, so now I'll want to deposit. 
crypto. Let me just do a search for BNB. And I want to copy this address and paste it in here. That looks good. And BNB amount. Uh, well, I don't know. So I'll just take 0.1. So $76.11. So this is all in Canadian. If you go into the settings, you can change the currency so that in Binance and Trust Wallet, you can see all your values in uh, Canadian dollars. So yeah, then hit next and then send. So this one needs a memo. So here you can just copy the memo there. Sorry about that. This is the first time I'm sending money uh, back into my account. So um, into my bank account. So I haven't done this here. Watching me do this for the first time. All right, and I sent it. It's showing up there. All right, and then I want to go back to my Binance. And if I go into my wallet and just refresh, it'll be showing up there soon. All right, so that took about five minutes. Okay, so now that we have the BNB in here, we are going to convert this to Bitcoin. So hit the two arrows there on the bottom, go convert, and you're gonna pick your BNB, and then to Bitcoin, confirm, and yeah, I'll do the max amount, sure. The whole $86. Preview conversion, and you go convert, and that should be pretty quick. And there we can see $84 in Bitcoin. So now I'm going to send this to ShakePay. So we want to click on the Bitcoin and go withdraw, and it's going to ask you for the address, so then you're going to go into your ShakePay. Then you're going to go into your Bitcoin and hit receive and you're going to copy that address. It's on the bottom there. And you're going to go back into Binance and you're going to paste that address. And I'm going to take all of it out and then go withdraw. Okay, so send the code. You want to paste the code from your email. And then if you have Google verification, then you want to paste that and see if it's there. All right, so that took about 10 minutes or so, but I want to point this out. When withdrawing from Binance to ShakePay, um, there was a fee. Uh, I, see, I don't know too much about this, so I'm just finding this out now. But the transaction fee was 0 0.0005 Bitcoin. Um, when I do a conversion, the current Canadian dollar, that's $34. So yeah, my close to $80 or whatever that I sent uh, turned into, it was like 47. It, so Bitcoin's gone up since then. And that's quite the transaction fee. Now I think that's their minimum fee, so if I would have sent, who knows, like 500 bucks, then yeah, like the $30 isn't a big deal, I guess. I'm going to be uh, maybe researching some other wallets here. I'm, I'm assuming that something maybe like Newton that carries different uh, coins, like Litecoin and whatever else, uh, those coins might have smaller transaction fees through Binance when uh, shipping them off to your Canadian wallet here. So. Yeah, I'm not impressed. Anyways, let's just keep on going with this. Oh boy, uh, that was a waste of money. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the two arrows down at the bottom and I'm going to convert all my Bitcoin to the dollars. And I think there is a bit of a fee that ShakePay does take. It, it's not much, I don't think, but um, I'm going to sell my Bitcoin. And there we go. So now it is in dollars and I can go into there and I can go to send and then cash out to my bank. And there we go. And I'm also leaving a referral link down for my ShakePay. So if you did want to start a ShakePay account, 
please use the referral code. You get 10 bucks for free. I get 10 bucks for free. And thanks to everyone for all the views, all the new subscribers, and the one referral I got from ShakePay. So thank you. I appreciate it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Happy crypto-ing. To the moon!